Welcome to the American Dream Selling Wisconsin. I'm your host and local real estate and lifestyle expert, Patrick Redman. Today, we are in the vibrant city of Eau Claire, Wisconsin for the U.S. Open Chainsaw Sculpture Championship. spectacular event that brings together some of the world's finest chainsaw artists. Competitors from six countries, including Brazil, Canada, Japan, Scotland, Wales, and the United States have gathered to transfer ordinary pieces of wood like this into extraordinary works of art. Prepare to be amazed by their skill, creativity, and the incredible artistry that defines this unique competition. Stay tuned for an unforgettable showcase of talent and craftsmanship. So come on, let's go. I'm with Kyle Thomas, uh, one of the artists. Kyle, where are you from? From Michigan. You're from Michigan. Yep, yep from Can Michigan. A uh, beautiful piece. Tell us about your art here. Thank you. Uh, so this, I kind of generalized. I called this piece the, uh, the the bird feeder bandits. So it's just a whimsy piece, a little bit more fun. I wanted kids to like it. I wanted adults to feel something when they saw it. And uh, yeah, that's it. They're flying around. They're raiding seeds out of bird feeders. It's awesome. You did a great job. Thank you. Good luck in the competition. Appreciate it. I'm with Chris Wood, one of the artists here. Uh, Chris, where are you from? I'm from Wales, in the UK. Yep, got it. And uh, tell us a little bit about your piece. Uh, my piece is called Halcyon Days. Okay. The, they're kingfishers. And that's where the word Halcyon Days comes from. All right. But before I left, I was sat by the river. Yeah. And I was asking the universe, what a car. And a kingfisher flew past. And I was like, is that a sign? And another one went fast. I saw 10, Jake. Wow. Yeah. Well, if that's not a sign, so, I don't know what is. Yeah. Well, you don't need to say anything else. It's an absolute beautiful piece. Thank you. Thank you for telling us about it. Good luck in the competition. Yeah. It's all about joy and color. And right. Beautiful. I'm with Jamie Dorn, event coordinator for this, this chainsaw event. Um, Jamie, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Incredible event. Uh, tell me a little bit, can you tell me just a little bit about, about the event and what's going on here? Well, it, it started in my backyard, really. Um, and uh, then the Paul Bunyan camp asked me uh, to help them organize an event. And I said, well, you know, I have this event and uh, why don't you take that event? We'll just move it over here and uh, it'll save my marriage stressed my wife out and uh, it started like that and uh, uh, I worked with the board and uh, we've grown it into a really nice event. So tell me, what, what is the event for our viewers at home? Uh, it's basically chainsaw sculpture. Okay. Um, take some of the best sculptors, chainsaw sculptors in the world to bring them here. Um, we also like to throw in up and comers, younger guys right. who, are, who are, have a lot of skill but you know they're 18, 19, 20, you know they're younger. Right. Um, and throw them in with some of the guys who have been winning comps right. all over the world right. and, uh, and uh, make a big mess. Right, and you have, you have competitors from all over the world, yeah. correct? Yeah. How do they qualify to come to the championship here? Well, originally we would take winners from like the Toei Comp in Japan, um, sometimes uh, the competition in Malda, Germany, and winners from different events. And some of them changed to events where they didn't have like first place winners or they went to teams or different things so it made it harder. So it ended up being more of like I would vet carvers or ones I would see winning other competitions yeah. and bringing them um, to keep it a little more consistent and bringing better caliber, caliber carvers yeah. so that um, we had a very high quality and this is, I mean, and I mean, it is. A, you got people from all over the world that are here. What is the local impact here in in the Eau Claire area? What does this What does this event bring to the to the area? 
Well, it does help tourism because I know there are people, a lot of people here from Canada, Ohio, Texas, Indiana, um, all over the Wisconsin. Right. Um, so I, I would I would definitely say we probably filled a, quite a few hotel rooms and are selling uh, some food for the restaurant. Right. Fantastic event. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of it. Thank you to the Chippewa Valley Museum. Thank you to the artists. Thank you for you at home for tuning in. My name's Patrick Redman. I'll see you next time on the American Dream. Oh,